Chaos, confusion, and panic. The injured and dead are everywhere. Money and food was being distributed to the poor, a tradition during Ramadan. The stampede broke out as this site in Karachi was overwhelmed by crowds of desperate people. Those behind us didn't stop. They kept pushing. I was crushed too. The last thing I remember is that my sister fell on me. I tried to find my sister, but I couldn't. When the crowd cleared, I saw both of them, my sisters, lying dead. Women and children were killed as the crowd got out of control. There have been other stampedes at food distribution centers this week, but this was the deadliest. Money was being distributed among the poor. Today a large crowd had gathered, which resulted in a stampede. Efforts to control the crowd made things worse. Some people drowned a nearby stream, others were trampled underfoot. Inflation is at a 50-year high and families are struggling to survive. The cost of basic goods like flour have soared nearly 50% this past year. Families of the dead say they're tired of political infighting and are demanding solutions. Millions of women have been forced to leave their homes to get some free food. Why? Because of the government. The Prime Minister keeps blaming former leader Imran Khan for everything. Khan is not responsible. He is responsible. There is no gas, no electricity, no water. Everything is so expensive, they should die of shame. Police have sealed off the area. They've already arrested several people. The organizers are being blamed for failing to inform local authorities about the event. But so long as Pakistani families remain in dire conditions, more tragedies like this one could be difficult to avoid. Vinton Monaghan, Al Jazeera.